Hey guys, it's just Amir, and this is FTB Snowblock 3. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm myself, fantastic one. Let's go ahead and jump forward and uh, move back into the pack here, right? So, in between episodes, I went ahead and did not very much, actually. Oh, we actually gotta be there, too. He's probably about to despawn, though, because I just did my intro. And, uh, yeah, there he goes. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that despawn there. But anyway, I didn't do too much. I didn't get much done at all. But if we come down here, we'll see... This here and this up here, right? So I have this kind of crazy thing kind of going on. This is a, it, 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 it's just, it's just aesthetic, right? So it's nothing too special, but we go ahead and grab a uh, sky block here. Go ahead and look at that. There's a mod in here called literal sky block, which is kind of neat, but yeah, it takes the amethyst, amethyst shards and then some stone. Then you make these Then you go ahead and convert them over into the boy blocks with some chorus fruit, which we just got the end stone and the actual flowers as a reward at one point. So just really easy for me to farm uh, pretty simply all around. Just go ahead and uh, break that for right now. I don't really need that. Get ahead and get all that. But we got this cool ceiling now, basically. So it's just a cool kind of void ceiling. It's uh, pretty nifty. And I thought about using it as a floor. Then I thought to myself that'd be very discombobulating. And I should probably not do that. So that is uh, definitely one thing I did there. The only other thing I did was uh, kind of accept all our quest rewards. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy real quick. Because he is going to drive me crazy. Please go away, sir. There you go. And then I got one of these here, actual repair talisman. So the repair talisman is actually super rad, right? So if I kind of break things here, my durability went down, obviously. But you notice that it's kind of popping up down with the pick. Actually getting automatically repaired once per second for one durability. So really cool little reward there. Can't actually craft these in this pack too, but they can be worn as a belt slot, I think. Yeah, right here. And we can just put it right there. And I'll just repair all of our armor and stuff as we go forward. I actually repaired all our diamond armor, which is... Uh, Pretty useful, especially since I plan on upgrading this pretty much immediately, too. So let's go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and grab some netherite here. We're going to uh, set us up a set of enchanted netherite armor. So that's kind of my kind of main goal to start off today. I want to go do one of the dungeons that's in the, I guess, the nether ring, right? So I want to go ahead and uh, head over there. Because once we do that, uh, we'll basically be able to get us some nether stars, right? And with those nether stars, we can actually do a lot. Actually, I'll leave that there. We could do a lot of really rad things, right? So one of my main goals for the day, I should probably cover that, right? Is get us this here. I want a dark matter block. With that, I'll be able to make a watch of flowing time. It gives 18 bonus ticks to nearby blocks every tick. So basically, this is a tick accelerator, right? It'll make breeding chickens, uh, running a lot of machines, stuff like that, growing crops. All go super fast, really quickly. And we wear this as a belt as well, right? So... It's a really, really cool item. It's pretty OP, and I want it now. So let's go with my plan here. But to get this going and actually get the dark better, you need to be able to get the different fuels, right? So the way we get the fuels is from the Philosopher's Stone. So you got to do that. Then you combine this up with a diamond block, and it's multiple tiers, right? So it kind of starts down here, down here. Then it goes to the, oh, not there. It goes down to here, alchemical coal, and you get that from coal, right? So every four coal. Equals all chemical coal, and then you kind of level up. But we have a coal chicken, so it's not a big deal. But to get this, we need another star, right? So that's kind of what I'm working towards. And I know the mobs are going to be a lot harder, so we need to go ahead and uh, probably do some enchanting as well. Let's go ahead and start that process as well. We've got so much stuff I want to do here. Also, for a weapon, I was thinking I'd do this here. I'd go ahead and make us a netherite paxel. It's not uh, a weapon per se. It is a multi tool, but it does 11 damage. And we could just go ahead and chant this thing. So that should work out for us. And uh, hopefully we get uh, good things out of that. I uh, want to have the actual Paxel. Go ahead and grab that. Somehow I made an extra pick. Or maybe that's the pick I already had. I didn't really pay attention. Let's go ahead and drop that off. And there you go. Now we have a Netherite Paxel, which is amazing. And like I said, that's 11 damage and same swing speed as a sword, right? So that is actually really good and uh, pretty rad for us. Uh, like I said, we're going to do Enchanting as well. So let's go ahead and grab. I probably don't have enough of this right now. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some of that. We got tons of books that we got from the uh, first dungeon there. Should be able to uh, grab some bookshelves. We don't have Apotheosis in this back too. So we're going to have a uh, pretty plain Jane uh, enchants most likely. But I'm not too worried about that. We'll need uh, most of those books anyway. So we'll grab them. We're going to make ourselves a new tool here too. I may go for some more Nether Stars too actually. I was looking at other stuff we could make with the Nether Stars. We could get a uh, temp pad. This would make it so we teleport around. So that might be a goal for today as well. Also, I think I'm going to make this destruction catalyst and the mining laser because I think that would be pretty good for us. And one other thing I think we're going to do before we go. we got a lot of stuff I want to do before we go here. I want to get us a cardboard box. Actually, a bunch of these. Uh, we'll be able to put these on the spawners and usually makes it so you can move like machines or drawers and stuff like around really easily. 
Uh, but this, I'll be able to just disable the spawners just by putting cardboard box on it. Then I don't have to break them and spend all that time, right? So I'm going to do that as well. Let me go ahead and grab a couple more things here. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get to enchanting, uh, potion making, because we're going to do fire resistance, night vision, and regeneration. And maybe this mining laser. Maybe we'll do the mining laser right now, actually. Go ahead and uh, look what we need here. Mining laser is just a really good mining tool. It's from Dire. It's OP, and it's amazing. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Grab that right there. So I went ahead and made all the upgrades I actually want here. So I made the upgrade range tier three. So exchange your range five times with each tier. So we're up to the third tier. So I don't know what the max range on it, but it's pretty decent. Magnet deconstructs blocks right into your inventory. Uh, upgrade three by three. So I'll actually be able to mine three by three tunnels. Uh, light placer places tortures whenever the surrounding light level is lower than eight. And then what is this one here? The battery adds an extra 10 million RF storage because you do burn through power pretty quickly. And efficiency. So basically, yeah, it makes it quicker, right? So pretty cool there. Oh, and Silk Touch. The Silk Touch is actually super cheap too. It's probably one of your easiest ways to actually get Silk Touch in most packs. So pretty rad there. You also need this here, the modification table. So I'll just go ahead and take that and pop that down. You may notice too, if you go to the uh, mining there, there's like different versions of this. It doesn't matter which one you use. So I grabbed the one that looks like the pistol, uh, not the pistol, the rifle. But there's like a, like a, you know, little kind of pistol type one. I guess there's two that are kind of like a pistol, right? But I went with the rifle looking one just because I think it looks coolest. But anyway, could drop that off there. And then you just start putting in the upgrades that you want to have in just like that. These are going to be the ones we go with because uh, they are pretty red all around. Then we need to charge this up too. But basically what you do is go to options, go to controls, go to keybinds, go to category and go to mining. Make sure you have a hockey set up for this one. Um, open mining gadget settings, right? So you'll want that. So once you have that, you gotta hit the button here. Then you can actually toggle things on and off that you don't wanna have on, right? So I wanna turn the magnet off, I can do that. I can change the size to three by three. I can set the range to whatever I want to. You actually change the color of the light beam as well. So if I want to make it uh, green, blue, what's this? I can make it pure white, but you know what I mean? You can make it uh, whatever, co whatever color you actually want, right? So pretty cool there. I don't know what the precision mode is. Not sure about that. And the volume, you can kind of tweak that as well. It is a little loud. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that. But once you have all that, probably just want to go ahead and get in here and start getting it charged, right? I need to go ahead and grab us some more coal here. Let's go ahead and do that right there. Go ahead and uh, pop some in here and some in here. Some people pointed out yesterday too, you could charge inside the charging station. This thing's really efficient. Like I need to charge this up to 10 million RF to kind of have stored it here. But my goodness, the charging station it's inefficient. Like, look how fast it's burning through the coal, right? As opposed to this. <laughs> way more efficient. Way more efficient, right? So, yeah, you get way more per coal, I think, in this as well, as you do opposed to this as well. Of course, right now, I'm just being impatient, but definitely, definitely, definitely a thing. Let's go ahead and grab our hammer here. Like I said, I could go ahead and do some enchantings here. Might as well do that while that's charging there as well. Notice it's uh, repairing my hammer as well, so that is actually pretty rad. But we do have a whole bunch of experience, right? So we got ourselves 145 right there. Plus, I still got another 150 buckets plus another 30 buckets, right? So we got uh, lots of experience here. Need a little area here, though. Not too big. Not sure how big I want to go, actually. Need the 5x5 five by five by for sure. And then pretty much it, right? One, two, three, four, five. Actually, it fit perfectly right there, actually. Let's go ahead and uh, throw that in place. Start working on enchantments here. I grabbed two enchantment tables too, so I can just like have another one set up a little further away. Oh, uh, just to kind of throw away the levels we don't need to, right? Or I should say the enchantments we don't need. Because usually I just end up doing one, but I don't want to waste all our experience here at all whatsoever. Want to try to get as much protection as we can, because I know this next area is going to be bad, basically, right? Because we're going to have the tier two elites in it, and things are going to start getting nasty really quick. Uh, can I actually... What happened to my crafting grid, man? What do you mean? What do you mean I can't open that up? What's going on? Let me... Yeah, I don't know why that's not opening right now. Oh, now it opens. I was I, out of range, I guess. Yeah, I was out of range. Anyway, so I guess that's uh, just out of range at that point there. Basically, I'll put stuff in here and just kind of hope for the best. Also, why does the enchanting level seem so low? Oh, because I don't have experience system. Let's go ahead and take all of that. Here you go. And then... Oh, I didn't actually take it. Let's actually take all of it. There you go. Go ahead and pop that in there and see what we can get here. Yeah, that's no good there. Go ahead and check that out. Main thing I really want right now is protection. So we get protect. Oh, protection four. Yes. On breaking. That's an amazing one. More protection we get right now, the better. So we actually made out pretty well with our chance here. So we got protection four on the leggings. Then we got three on the boots, right? 
Then we got four on the chest plate. Then on the helmet, I got on breaking, protection three, and aqua affinity. I mean, I don't really care about most of that. I only care about the protection here. So what do we get for protection in total? That's four, five, six, seven, plus uh, that'd be 11, and then 14. So we are up to level 14 protection. 20 is the max, right? Five vanilla anyway. So yeah, that is actually really cool. Actually, I have a protection book as well. I have sharpness four as well. I was looking at that. I don't know if we can actually put that on the packs all there. But this protection three, can I actually just combine these? I always forget how it works with vanilla. Can I like do this? Go ahead, pop you there and put that there. Oh, I got another protection four right there. So that's actually really good. Yeah, that is actually really cool. What else did I get here? I got sharpness three, sharpness four. Yeah, I need to see if I can actually get that on the Paxel. Because if I get that on the Paxel, that actually be pretty cool. No, it looks like the sharpness won't actually go on the Paxel. So that's unfortunate. But I mean, base damage is already 11. So I'm not too worried about that. But that'll handle our armored stuff. We should be in much better form there. And uh, that is not too bad. I think the next thing I need to do is uh, start making our potions here. So we'll go ahead and get that done. Oh, I want to make another item here too, actually. Uh, we got a little bit of that Mobius fuel from the uh, first dungeon there. So let's go in here. I think it was in here, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab you. Then these TNT as well. We're going to make ourselves a destruction catalyst. This thing is super good. Super good for mining, right? Let's go ahead and grab that. Sweet. And so we can actually grab everything we need. We need a flint and steel. Then we should be able to make these uh, Nova catalysts. Go ahead and do that. Maybe one more. Cool. Then we go ahead and grab this right here. And I can't really show you this thing in progress yet. I'll show you in a little bit. But this thing is going to make it so we can actually mine tunnels. Super, super quick. So that, and the, between that and the mining laser, we'll have no problem, I guess, tunneling anymore. So that's actually really good. And then what was the other thing I was going to do? Potions. You guys don't need to watch me make potions, so I'll go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and made one of these here. This is a sawmill. So the sawmill is pretty easy to make. Just takes a saw blade, then a couple gears. So that there, then another gear there. Make the machine frame. You're good to go. Throw a little power into it. So I just stole one of our uh, little setups here, right? Because uh, we don't need that to actually run the system at all. But uh, basically, you take some wood, throw it in here. And instead of getting four wood, I guess, per actual log, you actually get six. But you also get the sawdust as a byproduct. And with that, you can actually take that and just combine it up. Get yourself the cardboard boxes, right? So that's kind of the idea of these things, right? And the whole point of the cardboard boxes, like I said, is just move around machines and stuff, right? So you can just do something like that. Pick it up, move it around, or remember all the settings, all that jazz. Then you can put it back down and just shift right click and then move it, right? So it works really good on drawers and stuff like that, just for... Kind of relocating stuff but i'm gonna grab us quite a few of those kind of get that done this thing's taking forever to charge too i keep having throw coal in there i mean it's uh, another sword too actually i made ourselves a uh, netherite sword i just want to see what we get it to get to 11 attack damage with sharpness five we also got soul stealer on it as well i think that's for the uh soul shards mod which is uh something i never do and i think we may go ahead and try to do that wouldn't mind getting like a maybe like a wither spawner uh sorry wither skeleton spawner at some point uh with that right so the way it says to actually get the initial soul shards is this, right? So that actually, I should say what that upgrade does too. So when you're killing mobs, if you go to add soul shards, right? Get these crystals, right? So the first thing we need to do is make one of these. Right click on the top of a glowstone block with a diamond in hand. That's going to turn to one of these crystals. Then I can't remember you have to right click this on the mob or just kill a mob while it's in your inventory. I forget how it works. I'm going to have to look that up here in a couple minutes. But you gain points. And as it tears up, I think they become better and better. Then you have to do this whole soul cage thing. And I can't remember there's like a multi-block you got to do as well. So we'll kind of figure that out. But I want to try it out either way. Because it's been a long time since I've actually given this mod a chance, basically. Because there's always easier options. And I'm usually lazy. So didn't it just say right-click that on there? Is that what that said? Let's get to at soul. Try that one more time here. You know, right-click on top of a glowstone block with a diamond in hand. Diamond, glowstone. Let's go ahead and try this the old way. So this is the old way this used to work. You used to build this little multi-block here, right? This was the multi-block, and then you right-click that. Okay, so that is how it's done. It's actually done the old way. So why would it say just right-click on top of glowstone block with diamond in hand? Huh. Anyway, that's the way you do it. So yeah, just a glowstone, quartz on each side of it, then a uh, obsidian in each corner, then right-click on there. Now I just need to remember how this works. Like I said, I don't know if we have to kill it. Kill a mob with this in our inventory or in our bar. Or if we need to actually... What would it be the other thing? I guess right click it on the mob, I guess. I guess is the way we'll figure it out. But we'll try it on a wither skeleton either way and kind of see how it works out there. So I got us into our first dungeon here. And the first thing I ran into was an elite hoglin. So there you go. You guys, uh, not nice. He's adaptable and enkindling. I think he'd be lighting me up fire, actually. If 
I did not have the fire resistance on. Oh, he's actually really tanky too. He did give me some uh, netherite scrap, so I guess that is a uh, added bonus. But down here, I actually saw some crazy spawner. I'm afraid of it. I'm actually really afraid of the spawner. When I got close of it, like 10 mobs came out of it. I don't know if it's going to do it again. What kind of spawner is this? A bit spawner. I kind of want to let it go off now just to let you guys see it. Because it actually spawned in a ton of mobs like all at once. Are you going to do the thing? I don't know, man. I don't know. I probably shouldn't because literally like 10 or... Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is not a good place to be right now. Yeah, yeah, that's a... That's a nasty spawner right there. That is not, uh, that is no normal spawner. Anyway, definitely, definitely pretty crazy. Gonna have to watch out for those ones for sure. Oh, get an endermite even. All kinds of random mobs coming out of that. Probably eat a gapple for this part, actually. And then uh, maybe, I don't like those evokers and stuff, though. Are they vindicators? Yeah, we got everything over here. Nothing that we want to deal with at all whatsoever. Uh, you can go away, whatever you are. And you need to go away as well. There you go. We should be able to break the- actually, can we take that one? Oh, you might not be able to actually use a- Oh, 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 oh. We're leaving. <laughs> We're leaving. Yeah, I don't think I can use the cardboard box in there. I don't think it was letting me use it. Um, this guy's going to kill me in a second. I really don't want to die. So, yeah, let's uh, back off and uh, think about what we've done. No. No. Are you serious? I gotta walk all the way back. <laughs> I was just about to put that tome in my offhand, too. So note to self, those spawners are actually really bad. Really, really bad. And uh, not a good time. I had a potion regeneration I could have eaten, too. But anyway, I didn't really have time to think about it. I may or may not have. I uh, just used the slash back command to get back here, too. So, yeah, I may have done that. Not saying I did, but uh, there's a possibility I may have done that. Because I didn't want to walk all the way. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I definitely, definitely may have done that. But anyway... Go ahead and uh, drop this off. Let's actually go ahead and uh, probably just destroy this water this time. Um, I don't think we can actually pick it up. Like I said, I don't think it's one we could pick up at all. So go ahead and uh, head over here. See if we can actually get this broken. I need you broken, please. No. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we're... We just have the spawner now. That's just uh, what's going on. Looks like half of them just want to fight with each other anyway. Oh my goodness. This is nasty. Oh, I knew these were in here. Like these bad spawners are actually in here. I did not know it was going to be quite this bad. Oh my goodness. I think they toned them down, too. That's the scary part. That is actually crazy. So I think there was a, like, much harder version than this. But, uh, I don't know what you have on you, buddy. But I want no part of it. That reflective is nasty. <laughs> that seems like it's nasty, nasty reflective. Anyway. Oh my goodness. I, like, do no damage to him. Does the axe work better? I wonder if they adapt to, like, a damage type? Maybe that's what they're adapting to. Really? <laughs> That's what I have to deal with in here? That's actually pretty crazy. I came pretty set up too, right? Most people aren't going to come here and be this set up when they get here. I don't know about this, but anyway. I'm going to put you down. And maybe you down as well. We'll get some light in here. You know, as quickly as possible. And, okay. I'm just not allowed to get... Okay, mega torches do not work on these things. <laughs> Something to be aware of as well. I have to get to that thing get it disabled. I may have to dig underneath it and cheese it, I guess. So I have to say they probably have this a little overtuned, right? So I got the first one cleared out here. I guess the first spawner, first bad spawner anyway. Oh, what is that guy? Just an invoker. Let's get rid of him. But my goodness, that was bad. That's bad. Those bit spawners are nasty. <laughs> They're not a good time at all. I feel like it, like I said, I think it's a little over overtuned. But anyway, have to deal with it either way. Because uh, that's what we have, uh have going on right now. Let's go ahead and drop that off. And uh, maybe go ahead and drop off the fruit salad as well. And my goodness, that was rough. I actually broke a totem too. Like I straight up broke a totem as well. So it was uh, pretty nasty. Probably be using those a lot moving forward instead of the shield actually. Just because it seems like a better idea. I don't know why I hit you either. That was just a bad idea all around. Anyway, enchanted golden apple. That is cool. Not what we're looking for, right? We're looking for the actual... Just uh, Wither Skeleton Spawner. That'd be uh, kind of what we're going... Oh, actually. Go ahead and grab you. Sweet. And then do that. Awesome. We actually already have a Wither Skeleton Spawner. See this little doofus run around? Don't really want to deal with him very much. Drop me a skull. Nope. <laughs> anyway. You guys uh, just run around like a madman. Kind of curious what's in these chests here. Because we may find some good loot here. Or we may find nothing. You never know. Uh, what do we got there? Soul Speed 2. 
going to make sure I grab all these uh, silverfish shards because I think they're going to be used to uh, summon the boss at some point. So I'm going to take those skulls too, which is cool. And I'm going to keep throwing down uh, these things as well because I think these will disable the regular spawners. But it doesn't seem like it works on the bit spawners. It didn't seem to have any effect on that at all whatsoever. It just kind of kept doing what it wanted to. I'm going to be grabbing all of that stuff too as well. The actual debris. Because uh, we're going to be needing that as well move forward. I forget what for. There's something I really needed for. And uh, hopefully we end up uh, getting a good amount of it. Because I'm not sure how else we're going to get it outside of the uh, mining laser. Oh my goodness. Found five of the skulls right there. More of this here. I got a good amount of nether scrap as well. Which is not too bad. More with the skulls and skulls, so that's not bad. I found another bit spotter, actually two of them. I ran from one because I totally just I couldn't get to it. It's one, of, it's like a floating one, and I couldn't really even get to it. It's like I'd get nearby, I'd start to clear the mobs out, then 15 vexes would be on my head, and there's nothing I could do about it. I think it was down here. Actually, I'm not sure. It was around here somewhere. Uh, maybe it's here. I don't know. Is that a bit spotter? I, I need to get these bit spotters like literally out of the way. I don't care about a piccolo one at all. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of you. Uh, what's hitting me in the back right now? I really do not appreciate it. But we found our skulls either way. So I'd actually be able to go ahead and uh, get ourselves our actual... Uh, what are we going for here? I am totally can't even think straight right now. Uh, we go ahead and actually get... Oh, this is the hull here with the bad spawner. Yeah, and this one keeps getting like tons of vindicators and stuff. like And phantoms, dude. The phantoms are so nasty. Also, the um, endermites. You wouldn't think endermites are bad, right? But you're dealing with the things that are standing tall, right? Then the Endermites run up, and they'll have the weird abilities on them, like magnetic or something. You'll be being pulled towards them. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. It's not a good time at all. I think I think they definitely have this over tuned. I was basically what I'm trying to convey here. Yeah, there's one right there. Look at him. I don't even know what he has. He's probably doing something horrible to me. Saying horrible things about my mother and stuff. And the ones that were reflective. Oh, shielding. Shielding. That's another bad one. The shielding ones, sometimes it's like you can't hit their hitboxes. Like their hitboxes, you can't even target them. Oh, man. I, I have some beefs. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? I'm the guy that uh, destroyed our all craft. And this thing's actually... I'm having a hard time here. Like, this is actually... I don't know what's going on. It's a bad time. It's a bad time all around. Like, I can't even get to the spawner to be able to destroy it. You know what I mean? Because it's up in the air. I have to kind of completely clear it out before I can get to it. And, uh... It's the, yeah, I can't. I just, I give up on that one. That one can live there for now. I may actually head home. We got enough uh, skulls to kind of get us going. Plus, we got some spawners as well. And I'm coming too close to dying too many times here to want to stay around here. So, I think I'll kind of just peace out. And uh, we'll go ahead and actually get our uh, watch of flowing time here. So, I went ahead and grabbed our chickens. We're going to go ahead and uh, fight some withers here in a couple minutes. But uh, before we do, I want to get, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. This will be like a temporary setup anyway. So, let's go ahead and pop that there. I want to get our coal going to a central area, so we're just going to pop it up there. I should have some pipes on me, which is great. Had a bunch of these uh, diamond upgrades, too, that we got for free, so going to be using them as well, because they are pretty fast. Uh, I should have some kind of wrench in here, so let's go ahead and grab you. Pop you in there. Then we'll go ahead and uh, do that, and then go ahead and throw our chickens in here. And that should just start filling this up with coal. We will have to filter it the first time, right, because it's a little derpy. I'm not used to these, uh, these drawers, right, and having to filter them yet, but anyway... Go ahead and grab the configuration tool. Just lock that puppy, right? So that should be good for that. Have a crafter here too. We'll do the auto crafting for the actual fuel once we get to that point. Anything else we need right now? I don't think so. Actually, we do. Go ahead and grab uh, some of that fuel. Sorry, that uh, coal. It's not fuel yet. Go ahead and uh, drop that off into the system. And then we need to make some of that uh, tinted glass. And we'll just make a little cage to kill the wither and probably be the next thing to do. And then, yeah, just go ahead and kill them like... Probably just one time right now. Then I'll come back and do these other ones. I'm actually going to kill them three more times because we have enough. But uh, we'll do the one kill cage. Kill them one time. And then, yeah, just go ahead and actually automate the rest of it there. So I just went ahead and built a kill cage here. Just nice and safe. Just uh, finish off this wither here. Then we'll go ahead and uh, start auto crafting all our stuff with the uh, philosopher's stone, right? So I just have the little kill cage. It's just five tall. A whole bunch of the tinted glass. Little two by uh, one door. And it uh, works out perfect. Of course, now we're taking damage. And, uh, that is our life for a bit, but let's go ahead and uh, run up here and uh, grab another star. We only need one to get started, right? So that should be more than enough for right now. And uh, hopefully that's done soon. How much more do we have of this? My goodness. That just seems like a lot. I don't think, it, I don't remember it lasting so long. Anyway, good to uh, drop that off. And uh, with that, we can actually go ahead and make our Philosopher's Stone. So this is the main thing we need here. So we need like a, 
I guess only two of those. We're already tons of diamond blocks here in a few minutes anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Go ahead and grab you. Grab ourselves a Philosopher's Stone. So Philosopher's Stone height. We're going to go ahead and charge that up right away. Uh, not that button. I don't know what I just hit. Go over here. Then try that again. Yep, that is uh, all charged up. This is going to be used for a lot of stuff, right? So it could actually be used to convert things, right? So you could actually hit different blocks and turn them different things. And then you can actually make a obsidian out of lava too, right? Yeah, I think you do that as well. I think you do it both ways, actually. It can convert lots of blocks, right? So it's really neat in that regards. But that's not what we really want it for right now. What we want to do is go ahead and do some auto crafting, right? So we're going to go ahead and grab this crafter. Pop it right there. We're going to go ahead and uh, probably put it straight inside of here as well. Go ahead and grab some coal here. Oh, well, that actually needs to sit in there too. So let's leave it inside. Then we need to kind of build this recipe. Actually, it's going to make me choose a recipe first or it resets it. So let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll just set this recipe here. There you go. We're going to hit this button here. It's going to tell it to rem remember uh, what's in these slots down here. So it always leaves slots for certain items, right? Otherwise, it might not be able to get something. It gets filled up on something, right? Then I guess we just want to leave it on internal. Then we'll hit apply. It'll kind of get the recipe here. And that's the first one, which is uh, exactly what we want, right? We'll need to get some power in this. So let's go ahead and grab this. We'll steal this one. And then we'll also go ahead and grab ourselves a crescent wrench, I think it's called. I think that's the one that rotates the stuff from this mod, right? From thermal, right? So let's go ahead and grab you. Because otherwise, we might not be able to get the power connector correctly. Or I have it, like, floating. It uh, might do the... Yeah, it might do the thing like that, right? Go ahead and uh, aim that up. Then we'll go ahead and uh, just throw uh, some coal in that for right now. And that's already starting to make the next level of coal, which is uh, exactly what we want. Then we want to go ahead and set the second recipe. So let's do this. Then we'll go like that there. That is good. Tell it to remember again. And I should be able to just apply that one. If I apply that now, uh, why you don't make this stuff? Oh, I want that on internal for sure. What did I do wrong here? That there, that there. Oh, it's, it is doing it. it. Just Yeah, it just wanted to have the whole process, I guess. There you go. So that one's good there. Then we need to go to make the third tier. So the, what is this one here? Adernalis fuel. And we go ahead and uh, set that one. I don't know why it did that. Let's pretend that's normal. Let's actually go down to the recipe slot first because uh, otherwise it won't actually take the recipe again. And uh, that should be good there, actually. And this one here will actually set it to external C. And that should be good right there. Just tell it to remember, apply, feed it some coal. It should actually start, right? So let's go ahead and uh, bring this across here. Go ahead and uh, set the extract. And then probably speed that up a lot. And that should just start spamming that stuff, right? So I think every eight of these is going to give us uh, enough to make one dark matter. I was looking at the recipe too. I thought it was just one cycle at first, but you actually have to do it six times. So we need 24 dark matter blocks. Sorry, no, 24 dark matter to make the six dark matter blocks to be able to make our watch here. Well, I'm going to let that go for a couple minutes. We also need a ton of diamonds. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stand in front of our chicken down here. Actually, let's not eat that. There you go. Stand in front of our gold chicken down here and just get us a ton of diamonds real quick. Because we're need a block of diamond for every one of the dark matter, right? So I'll just kind of let that run for a second here. So we have just about enough dark matter blocks here, I think. I think I actually only need uh, a couple more. Let's go ahead and get that done. We'll need a bunch more for the pedestal because this thing's going to have to sit on a pedestal. But uh, we'll worry about that in a second here. But we grab our dark matter and uh, you just kind of turn the blocks like this. Like that right there. Then we also need uh, glowstone. So let's go ahead and grab some glowstone here. Gonna need uh, six blocks of that as well. So let's go ahead and grab another five. And then on top of that, we need obsidian, right? So let's make sure we have six of that as well. And this should actually make the watch, but like I said, it's not gonna do a lot until we actually have the pedestal, right? So we'll have to get that done next, I guess, and just making sure we have everything. Oh yeah, we need a clock as well, right? So let's grab a clock right there. That looks good. And kind of get this set up. Need to uh, see the exact kind of order for the recipe too, right? So we are looking at the watch of flowing time. So it goes dark matter, glowstone, and obsidian, right? So we go dark matter, glowstone, obsidian, and then we'll just have to put this through three times. So it should go across, be incomplete, right? So that's fine. Then we put it through again. Then it's still incomplete, but it's at uh, progress of six of 18. Do it again, it should be nine. And we just need to do that three more times, right? Just make sure it's uh, doing all the stuff and things that it needs to. And uh, yeah, they'll just uh, make our watch for us. So we can use the same setup, which is actually really, really convenient, right? There you go. And uh, we have the watch of flowing time. And uh, that is awesome. 
Notice there too, become the master time, right click to change mode, right? So by default, what it does, it just kind of controls time. So right now it's gonna make the time a little faster for the entire world. The daytime would be going faster. This would actually be making the daytime kind of go backwards and then you could turn it off, right? But that's not what we want it for. We want the tick acceleration, right? But to get to that, we need a pedestal. So the pedestal, pedestal is actually really expensive, right? So I need uh, 20 more, what is that? Yeah, 20 more dark matter just for this. Then I have to make red matter as well. And each one of those is three dark matter. So I guess I need, what is that? That's crazy. 26, 32 more dark matter. Then we could actually get this going and actually use it. Also, I should mention too, I'm going to set it down by our chickens because that's what I'm going to use it for at first, right? I want to use it to breed up the rest of our chickens. So I'm probably going to sit it like right here. The problem is until you actually have a dark matter pickaxe or above, which actually we can't make yet. So I go to dark matter here, show the pickaxe. It takes a silverfish heart. So until we actually bite the boss, right? Uh, we can't actually break this link. Basically, we won't be able to move this pedestal at all. So yeah, definitely, definitely a problem, but uh, not much we could do about it. But at least I'll be able to breed up all my chickens super quickly. And I can always just make more of these things too. I mean, at this point, it's just making the fuel automatically either way. So I totally forgot we could use our uh, temporal pouch to accelerate all this as well. So I just went ahead and did that. Cut ourselves 30. Don't know if that's enough though. So let's go ahead and uh, see if it is here. Already have three blocks. Actually, that is enough. We got enough now. So go ahead and uh, pop you in there. Because we need five. And then we need the uh, redstone ones. Not redstone, but the red matter ones as well, right? So let's go ahead and grab them. We need four of those, right? And that should be enough to actually make the pedestal, right? So that's what we want there. Then I should be able to take this now and our watch. Yeah, just making sure I still had it on me. And now we're going to go ahead and put it down here with our setup right here with the breeders, I guess, for right now. Because like I said, I can't move this, right? So I can't move this thing at all. But uh, you'll see kind of how fast it's going to be here. Uh, I should be able to. It's already charged up. We put it on there. Then you just right click. That actually turns it on. And right now it's doing the stuff of the things. You just can't really see it. I need a whole bunch of seeds here. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some, just so you can kind of see this working. I'll just do some random chicken. I guess the 10, 10, 10 really quick. Anyway, <laughs> good to uh, pull this out. We've got 16, 10, 10, 10 of those ones. Let's go ahead and pop them out. Do I have an open one? I think I do. Let's go ahead and uh, put you there. So you are finished. Let you do your thing. I forget the range too, but it's not far. It's only like three or four blocks. So it's not, uh, it's not super far, right? Uh, let's do our, I really don't care about flints. Let's do uh, yellows. I haven't done yellows yet, have I? No, I haven't done yellows. So let's go ahead and uh, get that done. I would just kind of pop them in here. And then this should go much faster. Yeah, this is 10 times faster. It's like insanely fast, actually. Actually, I could do both in like tandem, right? Will that actually work? I don't know. Can I accelerate that? No, you can't accelerate that. But that's definitely, definitely way faster than it was. And uh, yeah, this is going to speed up the process, no problem. So you could actually go ahead and get these guys done insanely quickly. So pretty awesome in that regards. Uh, we're already at 10, 10, 10 on that one, actually. Guess we just need 16 of them. <laughs> I didn't realize we were that far up on that one. So that one's there. And we'll just go ahead and bring you across. And get us up to 16. There you go. There's a chicken done just like that. So that one's 16, 16, 16. And maybe we'll go ahead and do Coco next. This one is at 1, 1, 1. This is what I really want to see. I want to see it at the base level there. So I do it there. Yeah, it's still pretty quick, right? And then I would just kind of go like that. And I would just go like that there. There we go. And then I would go here. Where are we at? Already almost there. You saw, you can see how fast it's going to be. It's actually kind of straight up broken for getting your chickens up, right? So I just do one side. Then I swap it over the other. Then I do that again. <laughs> so good, man. Almost done. Shouldn't take too much longer now. Sweet. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, 10, 9, 10. And this should be a 10, 10, 10 right there. Nope, it's a 10, 9, 10 again. There's a 10, 10, 10. So once I have two of those, I just need to go ahead and actually get a 16. And that's how fast that is. That just speeds up everything. It just makes everything insanely fast. So that was my goal for today. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually end this one here because I think it's actually getting pretty long. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. See you guys in the next video. Later.